Good morning from Galaxy's Edge. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Chelsea and I'm currently in Hollywood Studios in Florida. And uh, we are queuing for Rise of Resistance. It is apparently a 130 minute wait. Um, we got in the queue at 9.06 and it's now 9.28. So it's currently been 22 minutes. <laughs> I've got a little way to go. Um, but yes, I probably won't film anything on the ride because I want to enjoy it like I did with Smuggler's Run. I didn't film anything on there because I just want to enjoy it for the first time. Um, so I will see you afterwards and update you with how it was. minutes since we got in the queue. I took some screenshots to remind myself of the times. So we got in the queue at 9.06 and then we got to the pre-show bit, like the first bit at 10.16. So an hour and 10 minutes and then we watch the first video and then you go through some other little bits and then we got on the ride at 10.36. No, that's when we got off. We got on at 10.25. So uh, just under an hour and a half to actually go on the ride. So it wasn't quite 130 minutes, which is great. Um, so I really need the toilet. <laughs> um, but it was good. I still don't think it's my favorite ride at Disney. I think I still prefer Flight of Passage, um, but I really enjoyed it. And if you don't want any spoilers, just skip like 10 seconds. Um, I didn't realize that there was a drop in it. That was fun to realize. My mum knew because she had Googled it before, but I didn't. So that was fun. And then there's like a little bit of a saving grace after that. So oh, it was good and all very realistic <laughs> looking. And now we're just gonna wander around Galaxy's Edge. My brother hasn't seen Galaxy's Edge yet because he didn't come the other day. So we're gonna show him around um, and probably do Smuggler's Run, but not until the evening.
my cocktail and I've ordered the wrong one. <laughs> what are you going to get? Like, I don't know what it was called. This. What is, that's called the fizz though. I've ordered the wrong drink. <laughs> something fuzzy tonton um, but I had been looking at two on the menu before I went um, so I accidentally ordered the wrong drink so I ended up getting two because I really wanted to try the fuzzy tonton um, it makes your tongue go numb and like your lips a little bit but it doesn't last long I would say that like 
by the time I was like halfway through the drink the effect had worn off um, and then it just was like a juicy cocktail like a it tasted almost more like passion fruit than peach but I really liked it so yes um, now we have these Savvy's uh, Savvy's workshop for the lightsaber building at 2 something 2.05 um, so we have like 20 minutes until we can check in for that. So we're currently waiting for Savvy's lightsaber workshop. Um, can I show them the pin that you have? Daniel's wearing it. Oh no! Oh don't lose it! <laughs> I just fell off. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you need one of the uh, safety backs on there. So he's gone for the elemental set. Um, it's $266 including the tax. And this is the pin. There's the pin. Yeah, nice. I think it's the best pin. Um, and then it's also the only one that's a full set at the moment. They're missing a couple of pieces. So, um, but yeah, I mean, the elemental set looks nice. So, we're just waiting to go in. It's currently 11 minutes past two. The appointment, I guess, started at 2.05. Should there'll be about like 20 minutes before we go in, and then it's about 20 minutes to build it. So, yeah. Or you might get the shock of your life. To you, this probably looks like a lot of old junk. But let me clarify something. Some of it is new junk. <laughs> <laughs> I know that this is a lot, but for us, it's everything. So for those stormtroopers that see only worthless clutter, those who know see priceless history. So uh, you've all heard the legend of Luke Skywalker, correct? Yes! Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, we hear that there's another, a new Jedi. You know her name. Go ahead, tell me, what's her name? Ray. Yes, and what she is leading is this spark of hope we've all been waiting for. That's why we're here, to build it. A lightsaber. The lightsaber has been wielded by some of our greatest heroes and our enemies. It is elegant and enigmatic. To build a saber is an art. The lightsaber is a reflection of the builder with force flowing between them. And today, you get to feel that connection. Okay, that's enough of all that. Let's get started. Now, perhaps one of the most important components of a lightsaber, the kyber crystal, able to focus the energy of the force to magnify it. Some say the kyber crystal is the heart of a lightsaber. The color of the crystal determines the color of the saber's blade. Blue, wielded by the great master Obi-Wan Kenobi, his apprentice Anakin Skywalker, and now we hear red. Green, Qui-Gon Jinn, Ahsoka Tano, Master Yoda himself, and Luke Skywalker. The violet crystal, rare and beautiful, like the one wielded by Mace Windu. Red. Sometimes called the color of power, the crystal of Darth Maul, Saj Ventress, Darth Vader, and now Kylo Ren. These are all stories of the past. We are here for you, our future. It is now time for you to select your Kyber crystal, the heart of your lightsaber. The Kyber crystal that is right. Which one calls to you? Now everyone open your eyes and take your crystal. 
I knew it. I knew it. The hips. The hips is also the part that, well, fine. In order of assembly, you have the chassis. Then you go all the way over to section five for the activation plates. Back over to section one and two for the grips, emitter, and pommel pads. Building a lightsaber, you will select each part of your saber to create one that is uniquely yours. Everyone stop what you're doing, look in front of you. These are your gatherers, please allow them to guide you on your journey. And with that, let's build. <laughs> Hey. Next up, I'm going to go hold it up just like this, and I'm going to verify the stability of the crystal. So let's proceed now to column number five. We're going to choose the activation plates. You may choose the top two or the bottom two pieces that are marking the people we're looking for. Yeah. That's our gatherer. Okay, friends, let's take a look here. So I noticed that the crystal is interacting with the chassis. So I want to take a closer look at the chassis. That's a really strong crystal. Now, what we're going to do now is we're going to proceed to columns one and two. Choose any two of these four pieces here to open the bottom here. Ooh. That looks quite nice. Oh, so does that. <laughs> yeah, no, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Do the other one one more time. And then what we're going to do is actually, yeah, so this one. I don't know if you've done it. I'm going to choose one of the for column three for the very top. Um, there you go, yeah, just like that. That's okay. Yeah. So now you get to move on to column three, and you have to choose to put these two for the top, and all you have to do for this one is just spin it right on. This one doesn't, you know, push it And then your last piece is going to be your pummel cap from column four from the bottom. So it's not going to line up how you want it, my friend, just because it's scrap metal. Just making okay. sure everything is on comfortably. And then just turn it around. Turn it back right now. There you go. And now you want to just spin it right in. Well, you are going to do that one more time. Perfect. So when chem base is activated, all you're going to do is push up and activate this right back down. Congratulations. That looks good. I'm glad you changed your mind. I prefer that one. <laughs> yeah. I liked it, but it had to line, line up. up yeah. You have a piece of scrap metal. Okay, we're gonna practice this. Get on the stormtrooper. Stormtrooper around. Hey, what you got there? Man, I'm like, please start lying before you. I finish the question. Very good. <laughs> Stay as cool as you can. That might get a little bit too quick. <laughs> all right, everyone, take a moment to settle and appreciate the work you've done. You've all completed your hills. Nothing traumatic or unexpected happened. But this next part is dangerous. So please leave your hilts where they are and take several steps away from the table. The gatherers need to stabilize the crystals for activation okay. by entering the edge of these tables. What are you attached to your beard? Oh, uh, no. Oh, good. Sure. <laughs> well done. Chosen a part with skill you have. Chosen with heart. When joined to the art, much more they will become. For you, it is time. Indeed, it is time to take that first step. Everyone, we have reached the final stage. The bond between saver and builder is about to be forged. In a moment, I'll have you all take a step forward, place your hand on your hilt, and on my signal, without pulling, simply slide the switch forward, and we will all activate as one. Everyone ready? And activate. Choose your path. Only you can. May the force 
and pita with like some veggies underneath. Looks really nice. Plant-based meatball from Docking Bay 7. Mm -hmm. That's nice. We made such a mess cutting this up. Oh dear. Okay. I have a lot of chickpeas left in this. So. And then this is the Ronto Roasters uh, plant-based Zucchini wrap. I don't know which one I prefer, I like them both. Lunch was very nice. The um, zucchini wrap, I think I preferred it slightly more than the meatballs, meatless meatballs from Docking Bay 7. Both of them were really, really nice and I would get both of them again. Um, but I just to the sauce and the spiciness that came with the zucchini rabbit. So if you don't like spice, it's a little bit spicy. It's not bad, but if you don't like spice, then go with the meatless meatballs. Um, but yeah, both of them were really nice. I would probably give the wrap like a 8 out of 10 and the meatballs like a 7 out of 10. So they're both very on par with each other. Um, anyway, I have no idea what we're doing now, so <laughs> we're going to figure it out. Um, Daniel's going to drop his lightsaber at the hotel um, and me and Mum will stay here and do something. Um, if it's not Star Wars related, I probably won't film it because this is my Star Wars Day vlog, so I'm not going to really put in anything non-Star Wars related. Um, but we'll see. I think we're going to come back and do Smuggler's Run in the afternoon. Um, but other than that, I don't think we're really going to do much else in Galaxy's Edge. Hello. It's a couple of hours later and we are back in Galaxy's Edge. We are just getting in the queue to go on Smuggler's Run. It says that it's only a 40 minute queue. The time now is 602. Um, so we will see if it is actually a 40 minute queue or not. Um, I think last time we got on this, we had already stopped at this point and waited an hour. So hopefully, it's going to be okay. If we're allowed to film on this ride, then I actually might be able to film a little bit. But if not, then I will see you afterwards. Oh, hello, my friend. 
friends, I am Hondo Onaka, and this is Onaka Transport Solutions. I need flight crews to transport this valuable merchandise across the galaxy. Pilots to navigate, engineers to operate the ship, the gunners. As Harry, you let us use the ship. We'll get you the supplies you need. It's a win-win. You help the resistance. <laughs> I get all the profits. The first order will never know we were there. Okay, time to go, so uh, bye bye. We better go before he changes his mind. A few brand new crew members and a few returning for another mission. Excellent! You will be intercepting a first order train shipment of coaxia. Gunners, you play the path. Pilots, line up behind the train.
Um, I would give it like a yeah. 6.5 no, out of 10 maybe. I don't know. Yeah. It's, it tasted too citrusy, even though it was supposed to be fruity. I think that's why I was confused. Anyway, um, we're gonna go do Star Tours in a minute. Final touch of our Star Wars day is Star Tours. It's currently like 9.50 p.m. We just watched Fantasmic, which I didn't film because it's not Star Wars related. Um, but now we're just walking through the queue for Star Wars. It is currently, I think, one. Um, so we're gonna do this, and that's pretty much everything Star Wars that you can do here. I think there's like some bits that you might have missed, but. This is a gate to Yes, final ride of the day. I was not the rebel spy, but I did have fun. And I don't remember ever seeing that video before. I don't remember anything that I've seen here in Florida, but in Paris, I think it's different. But it was cool. Um, yes, I think we are leaving now. Um, so just doing like that final show. Um, but we haven't made it so <laughs> we're just gonna watch it another day um but yeah that's it for star wars day i hope you've enjoyed it please give it a thumbs up if you have and subscribe to see more videos and i'll see you next time bye